In recent years, there's been a significant rise in childhood obesity, with one in five 10 to 11 year olds being obese. The NCMP is a vital part of tackling childhood obesity, providing information to parents on their child's weight and height in reception year and year six. It also provides high quality data to help inform local planning and commissioning decisions. The child measurement programme is important because it's the only source of robust information we have about the height and weight and growth of our children. So there's, n there's no other method of us getting this information. We get it on virtually every child, so it's a really accurate record. It enables us to know if our interventions are working or if there's particular groups of children that have problems that need different solutions. So it really does guide our strategies. The Child Measurement Programme is linked to our Healthy Weight Strategy because it provides us with an opportunity not just to find out about what's happening in terms of children's height and weight, but also provides an opportunity to engage with every child and every family. The way the scheme runs is through each school. This is a really effective way of catching a large proportion of, the, of children. Stockbridge Village Primary School in Knowsley acknowledge how important the programme is to them and recognise the advantages of conducting it in a school setting. I think the child measurement programme is very important because good schools provide um, a, a really important role in the health and well-being of a, a local community and what the measurement programme enables us to do is to access data which helps us facilitate conversations with parents about healthy lifestyles and choices that they make for their children. Education is more than knowledge and understanding, it's about the development and well-being of the whole child and through this programme what we're able to do is collect the information we need to ensure that parents are fully equipped with the, the information they need to make the right choices for their children around lifestyle. I think it definitely helps being in the school setting for a number of reasons. First of all, it's an environment that's very familiar to the children and therefore they, d they feel that it's just part of their every day. And also, in, locally we have an issue with non-attendance at medical appointments quite often with some of our parents with chaotic lifestyles. The fact that these tests are administered in school means that we can manage that process much, much more effectively and ensure that all of the children have those tests. Paula Simpson has a clinical background and has worked in an integrated post with NHS Knowsley and Knowsley Council for the last four years. And part of her responsibility is to ensure the NCMP is aligned to other local authority strategies. The Foresight Report highlighted the issue that obesity is a hugely complex issue and requires therefore a multifaceted approach to addressing it. Um, and its impact on the community. The local authority will ensure that a holistic approach is put in place by aligning the healthy weight strategy with other local authority strategies such as the sustainable communities strategy and the health and wellbeing strategy which is being developed at the moment. In addition to that we'll work with communities to really empower them to help them make healthy choices and work to create healthier environments across the borough. So what's been learned so far? I think the most important things we've learned so far are it's really important to get robust data on the whole population. One of the things we do is make sure that um, we collect 85% and above information on all of our children. Um, so then that means that we've got good population coverage. If it drops below that, then the information is a lot more inaccurate. So we've developed really good relationships with our service providers and our schools in terms of collecting that information. And then the other thing is that the way we then communicate with children and families is also important. It's no good just sending them some, some data, some figures that say, this is the weight of your child. We need to communicate really carefully with them. People don't necessarily like to be given um, what could be perceived as a negative message, in, especially in terms of parents' own parenting and looking after their children. So how we translate that message and then offer support to families is really important. I think those are some of the things we've had to learn over time. But the programme is not just about collecting data. 
Okay, so as well as just collecting the information about the, the height and weight of every child, we then write to every family. So every family gets a letter telling them about their height and weight and how that compares in terms of healthy weight for their age group. And we also offer support. So each family will be offered information and a contact that they can get in touch with in order to get more information locally. As the programme moves to local authority control, how is the quality going to be maintained? Quality is really essential in terms of delivery mechanisms, um, data collection and clinical governance and I'll ensure that that is sustained through transition by sustaining those close partnerships between NHS colleagues and the local authority and indeed education partners such as head teachers. The National Child Measurement Programme is a major factor in the prevention of childhood obesity and it will be important for local authorities along with their schools to maintain a high quality programme to keep children healthy.